Good morning. As we start our worship and prayer, let me read to you Psalm 102, verses 25 to 27. It says here, Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. Lord, that is our prayer, that even as we worship and as we listen to your word, we will get to know the unchanging one, the ever faithful one, the everlasting one. And I pray, God, that our hearts will be aligned to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship God. Si Yahweh ang aking pastor Di ako makukulang Pinahihimlay niya ako sa Linti ang pastulan Inakay niya sa tahimik na batisan Pinanunong balik niya aking ka Saan pinapatnubayan ng bawat hakbang di ako nag-iisa Yahweh 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 Pag-ibig mo'y wala Ang aking patnubay sa Landas ng katuwiran Upang ang alam niya'y aking papurihan Kaluwalhatian niya'y itataas Tungkod niya't basto Pagligtas Ikaw sa akin Ang lahat-lahat Yahweh 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 Pag-ibig mo
Today we are continuing our theme of Abide for the whole year and we're expounding that theme through the book of Psalms. And one aspect of abiding that you would most probably hear from our devotions or from our leaders or even from uh, other Christians is to pray or to pour out your concerns to God. To pour out your concerns to God. And that's exactly what we're going to look at today. Today we are going to look at Psalm 102. And hopefully this psalm will give us an insight in how we can pour out our concerns before the Lord. If you have your Bibles, you could check out Psalm 102. We're going to read from verses 1 to 5 and verse 11. I'm going to start even from the very introduction. It says here, A prayer of one afflicted when he is faint and pours out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I'm going to jump in verse 11. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. See, as we read this psalm, yung intro pa lang niya, yung heading pa lang niya, when there's affliction, it invites us to pour our heart to God. See, that's verses 1 to 5 and verse 11. What we see here is that the psalmist is pouring out his complaints, his, uh, um, his weaknesses, his afflictions to God. He is describing it. Actually, if we read through the other verses that we skipped, he is describing how he feels like. He's like an owl in the wilderness, um, like an owl in the waste place. He lies awake and all of those things. He is describing what he is experiencing, where he is right now before God. And I believe that is what we call intimacy with God. You know, and uh, to be intimate, to be for, for us to make ourselves raw and aware uh, before God. It's not as if hindi niya alam. Kilala naman niya na tayo eh, but it's us being vulnerable before God. But you know what? We know this already. And maybe for some of us here, as a young Christian, we have been taught like this. I would also even say, kahit hindi ka nga Christian eh, Dati pa, hindi ka pa saved. Iba sa atin dito, nagdadasal na tayo. Sinasabi na natin yung problema natin sa Panginoon. Most of us here, we already know this. We do this already. We, we share our struggles. We share our afflictions. We share our complaints before the Lord. So, what's new? <laughs> In our so we do that already, especially if maybe you grew up in a very religious background. I know I did before us before I was a Christian. I've been praying my problems to God, <laughs> I've been pouring out my emotions to God, even as a religious person before. Or maybe in our very individualistic world, wherein it focuses on self, my emotions, my thoughts, my perspectives, myself. You know, it's okay, I get to pray my emotions, my perceptions, my perspective, myself to God. And there's nothing wrong with that. The question is, what's new? <laughs> okay, kung itong buong morning worship and prayers just to say, let's just be open before God, <laughs> then is that really, really what this psalm is? Expressing ourselves to God in the guise or in the, uh, is a way of being intimate. And that's true. But think about this, being intimate with God is not just a one-way process. Sure, it involves us sharing our struggles, but it's more than that. It also involves us knowing God more. Intimacy is two-way. It's not just us letting God know what we are going through, what, our, what we are feeling, our perception, our situation. But may it also lead us to know God more. And that's a big, big shift 
from how we used to pray before and how the world promotes prayer in the sense of expressing self to God. It's more than that. It's also opening ourselves to know God more. It's also listening, observing, seeing, thinking, reflecting about who this God is. And we can see that in this psalm. Verses 1 to 11, it's all the psalmist pouring out his concerns to God. But in verse 12, there is a contrast, a pivot, if you may, of the psalm. So, malungkot, malungkot, problema, problema. And in verse 12, it pivots, it changes. What does it say? In verse 12, it says here, But you, O Lord, but you, O Lord, Ito yung nararamdaman ko, ito yung na, naiisip ko, ito yung sitwasyon ko. I look like this, I feel like this. This is what I see, this is what I perceive. But you, O Lord, there's a pivot, there's a change. And from this point onwards, 28 verses tong Psalms na to, majority of the rest of the verses does not focus on the self. It focuses on God. It says in verse 12, But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. As I've said, from this point onwards, majority of the verses focuses on who God is. And that is one aspect of God that the psalmist observes. No, doon sa pagbabasayin natin actually yung mga verses from verses 12 onwards, there's a particular aspect of God, and again, there's many in here, but there's a particular aspect of God that the psalmist observes about God. And that is His eternality and God being a multi-generational God. Where can we find that? Uh, it says in uh, verses 25 to 27, ito, kitang kita dito. Sabi dito, Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. Another one, sabi sa verse 24, oh, oh my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. You see, when it comes to us pouring out our hearts to God, Praying to God. Our confidence in our prayers is who God is. Our confidence in our prayers is not our prayers, not our situation. Kaya kang na tayo minsan nagpe-pray. It's about who God is. In this aspect, the psalmist is declaring, you are, you are, um, it says here, you are the same. They will perish, but you will remain. You see, may our prayers lead us to know God more. That's how, quote-unquote, intimacy works. It is two-way. Wag lang tayo yung tayo lang nagpipray na nagpipray na nagpipray to God. Ang tanong, mas nakikilala ba natin ang Panginoon sa buhay natin? Mas nababago ba tayo ng Panginoon? As we pour out our hearts to God, let, let God reveal an aspect of who God is. We pour out our hearts to God. And as we do that, we see an aspect of who God is. Again, in our highly individualistic, self-centered world, may our prayers be not just focused on us, our perception, our emotions, our perspective, but may it also direct us to God. That's how this psalm shapes our prayers. That's how we move from praying things from what we see to focusing on God. There's nothing wrong with that. All of us here are commanded. Most of us here, we may have started with praying whatever we feel, our emotions, our situation. But our prayer, especially as our topic is abide, is that as we progress in our walk with God, we will also grow in this aspect na hindi lang puro tayo, mas nakikilala pa natin si God. But it doesn't stop there. So we started off with self. Psalm is pouring out his concern to God. Then it invites us to know God more. But it doesn't start, stop there. You know, at first glance, 
the psalmist seems to be praying solely for his afflictions. Diba? Verses 1 to 5, yung sinabi natin kanina, yung binasa natin kanina. Verse 11, my days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like, like grass. But look at these verses. Verses 13 to 15 and verse 28. Sabi dito sa verse uh, 13 to 15, You will arise and have pity on Zion. Hmm? It is the time to favor her, pertaining to Zion, which is another name for uh, God's people or Israel. The appointed time has come, for your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. And in verse 28, the last verse says, The children of your servants shall dwell secure, their offspring shall be established before you. Why is this so important? Because now we see that the prayers that the psalmist has is not entirely his. Verses 1 to 11 may sound like it's about him. Ito nararamdaman ko, ito experience ko. But his prayers is not just about him, as from the verses we just read. It is for his nation, Israel. It is for the nations of the world. And it is for the next generation. Wow! Why is that so important? Because as we abide in God and grow in intimacy with Him, yes, we may start off with us pouring our struggles, our affliction, our emotion, our perspective, our problems, our situation to God. But may it not stop there. May it also lead us to get to know God and His character, who He is, what He has done. But let it not also stop there. <laughs> may it also shape us in our prayers that we learn now to pray and intercede for afflictions beyond us. And I believe that is what God wants as we abide that he will use, we will be used by God for other people to be blessed by our intercessions and prayer. That as we abide in Him, we are shaped by Him to love, to pour out to God, and pray for others. So it may start with us. No, some applications of this one. It may start with us. We can be honest before God. God hears you. You don't know where to start. It seems like praying is such a hard task pang mga veteran Christians lang yan. No. We can start by being honest to God. What we feel, what we see, our problems, where we are right now. Another application is, as we do this, may we also get to know God. Pakinggan din natin siya. May the Word also dwell in our hearts so that we'll get to know Him. But let it not, let it not stop there. As we are known and loved, as we get to know what Jesus did for us, as we get to reflect in what God did, may it also move us to intercede for others. Kasi doon sa intimacy na yun, doon natin nararamdaman yung heartbeat ni God, yung passion niya. And in this context, for Israel, for the nations, and for the next generation. In short, it grew, it grew his perspective, it grew his compassion, it grew his faith, and it grew his love, not just for God, but for others. As he abided in God, he was shaped by God. Let's pray. Lord, as we talked about praying, Lord, we are sorry for the times that when we do pray, we're just focused on ourselves, that we forget to know who you are. I pray, God, that even as we do pray, more than us just pouring out ourselves, may we also receive who you are. May we also get to know you. And I pray, God, that in this process of dwelling and abiding in your presence, may it also grow our compassion, our love, our desire to be used by you to other people. And Lord, I ask, even today, that as we reflect upon Psalm 102, indeed we declare, that our confidence in our prayer is that you are the same. You are the same God here in Psalm 102. You are the same God that we are praying to right now. You are the same God this, uh, in the midst of all the uncertainties and 
the fears, Lord, you are the same. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, O God, and your years have no end. In Jesus' name, amen. Tumaan man ako sa libis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar sa pusong may tiwala Dumaan man ako sa libis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar sa iyo ako'y tiwala Tumaan man ako sa libis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar sa pusong may tiwala Ikaw ang aking tagapagligtas Ikaw sa akin ang lahat-lahat Yahweh 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 Pag-ibig mo'y walang hanggan Yahweh 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 Thank you for praying with us and worshiping with us. Let me just pray for all of us here. Lord, bless us. Lord, indeed, may we be a channel of blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen.